faithfulness of David. I remember your faithfulness of me. I remember your faithfulness of Noah. I remember your faithfulness of Moses. I remember your faithfulness of David. I remember your faithfulness of me. I remember your faithfulness of Noah.
worship you.
let this be our cry. Let this be our cry. Let this be our cry to you, our God. confession let this be our cry when everything shakes let this be the profession of a lovesick heart of a lovesick heart even through the wilderness let this be our confession even through the storm let this be our cry till the end let this be the profession of a lovesick heart of a lovesick heart this will be profession until we see the end this will be the profession of this lovesick heart of this lovesick heart
face and grace amazing takes me home I trust in you oh you are the voice you are the voice that called the universe to be you are the whisper in my heart that speaks to me until I see you face to face and grace amazing takes me home I trust in you and I will
be content to know just part of you. We want to know all of you, God. I thank you that you come here, that you inhabit our praise. I pray that you would reveal yourself as we eat your word tonight. Reveal yourself, God. We're now going into a time of prayer and singing from the word of God. Tonight we'll be reading from Psalm 2. I encourage you to find it in your Bible and join us as we meditate, sing, and pray through Psalm 2. Psalm 2, verse 1. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? King of kings, Lord of lords, we confess your lordship. Even as rulers and leaders choose ideology and defiance as weapons to wage war against the one true omnipotent God. We think we know, we think we see clearly, but we will only ever see a blurry image of truth until we submit our plans to you. In this hour, when lines are being drawn so clearly, Nations are lining up and following what seems right in their own eyes. But God, shine your light of truth into each of our hearts and reveal any agendas that stand in opposition to your rule and your reign. As the nations and peoples conspire against you, God, we stand with you, for their plotting is in vain. may rage, the nations may rage, the nations may rage against you. to 
shall fade away, they shall fade away like grass. Your ways are 
are just Your ways are righteous, God Your ways are just Your ways are righteous Your ways are just Your ways are righteous, God Your ways are just Your ways are righteous just your ways are righteous God your ways are just your ways are righteous your ways are just your ways are righteous God Psalm chapter 2 verses 4 through 6 the one enthroned in heaven laughs the Lord scoffs at them. He rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. God, when you speak, it is with a voice of thunder. And when you laugh to scoff at those who stand against you, it's a powerful, mighty roar as the lion who comes to take his place on the throne. All who are rebuked by you and stir up your anger against them will be terrified when your wrath is poured out. We await this day with both anticipation and dread, for we know that we who have called on your name to be saved and have not set ourselves up as our own saviors will not be consumed by the fire of your wrath. But even watching from afar will bring us to our knees before the one who is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Give us the fear of the Lord, lest we think for a moment that our ways are higher than your ways, O Lord. We've waited for a turning of man's hearts to call you Lord, and you've welcomed many sons and heirs into your throne room. Your wrath cannot be withheld much longer, and we thank you for revealing your plans so clearly in your word. We trust you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, the anointed King, to stand on Zion and take refuge in you, and we boast only in your overwhelming power. Oh, the nations will rise, the nations will rise, but there's a king that's coming, there's a king that's coming, is the king of kings and the Lord of lords.
Search our hearts that we 
we be found in you search our hearts and we be waiting for you search our hearts search our hearts and we be found in you we be found in you may the bride that awaits for you be a bride in love may the bride that awaits for you be one of faith may the bride that awaits for you be one who's been waiting one who's been hungry crying out for you coming crying out for your coming crying out for your coming oh king of kings crying out for your coming crying out for your coming oh you will do days oh surely you will do it surely you will do it you will prepare your bride you'll prepare your bride she will wait for her king she will wait for your return
revelation and softening of hearts among those who have fallen into compromise. Give your people, call your people with intensity into their identity as the pure and spotless bride being made ready for you. It is not an identity that she has in the future, but now. God, send your spirit of wisdom and revelation to open your bride's eyes to her great need, the need for purification, the need for clear sight, for sober judgment, and the fear of the Lord taking the place of the fear of man. Teach your church once again what it means to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness instead of prioritizing her own comfort and sufficiency.
you all the glory. You're a God who's worthy of all our praise. We pray, God, that as we abide in who you are, as we ask for an increase of revelation of who you are, the greatness of our God would become so real in our hearts and in our minds, God, that no matter what shakings would come, no matter what unexpected things would come in our way, we pray, God, that we would stay grounded in the truth of who you are. We'd be able to confess to you all the days of our life that we love you, that we will never stop worshiping you as long as we have breath in our lungs. We will give you the worship that you deserve. Make for yourself a bride that is ready, a bride that is hungry and longing for your return. We thank you, God, that we trust in your promises and in your word. Surely you will do everything that you would say that you would do. So we thank you, God. We have confidence in you. We place our hope, place our trust in Zion. We love you. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, we hope that you are blessed. Um, yeah, we hope that you are blessed. This entire month, we are praying specifically for the church uh, of America. We're praying that God would do everything that he needs to do for the upcoming season the church is facing. So continue to pray in your own time. Continue to develop your, hope, your own heart and desire to see the American church rising up at this hour. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. We have a watch on Wednesday mornings and also on Thursday evenings. Uh, so we'll see you guys next week. We hope that you have a great night and a great weekend.